Hey everyone, Irix Guy here. Uh, now, if you use Final Cut Pro 10 on your Mac, there's a good possibility that you also use Compressor 4. And that, of course, is the most current version of Compressor available from, uh, from the App Store. Now, I ran into a problem with clustering because I purchased a new uh, MacBook Air and I wanted to use it for video edits. I'm filming this video from my MacBook Air, by the way. And I wanted to use it to edit some video in the field in uh, Final Cut Pro 10. And then when I got home and I wanted to render the uh, video that was created, I wanted to also utilize the processing power of my desktop iMac. Uh, that's a Core i7, so it's got eight usable cores uh, to speed up the, uh, the rendering of the video. So ran into a problem where it wouldn't see the cluster. And then after I got it to see the cluster, I got some, uh, uh, some shared directory permissions issues so it's really been a cluster, <laughs> as you would say, to solve, but I have found the fix, and we're going to go through it step by step within this video. Uh, so the first thing I'm doing, and you can't see me doing this right now, is that I'm on my desktop Mac, and I've launched Compressor on my desktop Mac. Uh, after going into Compressor, I uh, uh, can ensure that it was sharing. Now, my desktop Mac, it is set to... Share this computer as services only, and then I've got compressor checked, and under the options tab, I've got all eight cores. And then I've got require these services to only be used and manage clusters checked. So I hit OK there. That's running. It'll give you some form of acknowledgement that your that your cluster is running. So now we're on my MacBook Air where I've got this project. And this is just a small uh, 40 second clip of a video review of I did that I did at the MacBook Air. So what we're going to do is step through the procedure to render this uh, while utilizing the cluster. So it's going to use both my MacBook Air's processors, which is a Core i5, so it's got four usable cores, and then my desktop iMac, which is an eight core processor. So we'll go to share. Now if you're like me, you may have grown accustomed if you just use a single computer to select send to compressor or export using compressor settings. Now it would seem from a user friendliness standpoint that Apple would enable those to see the uh, cluster as well but if you choose either of these options and you get to the part to where you're ready to submit to do the export it's not going to give you any option except for this computer so the way to do this is to go to Share Export Media. We're, we're of course in Final Cut Pro 10. Uh, you'll export video and audio, a video codec, you'll choose your current settings, and then open with, and this is very important, open with needs to be compressor. So make sure all of that's there and hit next. For this example, I'm just going to save it. I'm going to call it... Uh, CP4 fix, compressor 4 fix. So we're going to export this video uh, to the desktop. So we'll do save. Uh, depending upon the file size, of course, uh, you know, this time could vary. Uh, file size and the speed of your, uh, of your Mac. But what this should do when this finishes, it should automatically launch compressor 4. So we'll give it just a moment here. Nine seconds remaining. Okay, so here comes Compressor 4. And when Compressor automatically launched, it says sharing is enabled. Do you want to turn on shared services again? I say okay to that. And now we're ready to begin the next step. So you're going to have to drag to your project up there your preferred video settings. Uh, now I like this HD uh, 1080p video sharing. You could use whatever you, whatever you need to use for your project. So drag it up there on the project. Uh, now that's in there. And when you hit submit, you will now have the option, whereas if you chose the other 
options, you would only see this computer, but following the procedure that we went through to get to this, you can now see your cluster. And my cluster is called Epic Cluster, just because I thought that sounded really cool. So once you got Epic Cluster submitted, you can hit Submit, selected rather, you can hit Submit. And now you want acknowledgement that your uh, cluster is actually being utilized. Uh, so what you can do to see that, you'll see here in the history, uh, this project's just starting to fire up the, uh, the rendering of this test video clip. But what you can do is go to Apple QMaster menu in the top, go to Administer Clusters, and now you'll see your uh, your your clusters that are here because I, I built this cluster in the past so here's my iMac uh, this is the one I mentioned that's the uh, the i7 you know really powerful uh, system eight cores in it and then my MacBook Air uh, which is also powerful but it's only an i5 uh, with four cores so what we should start to see here in a minute is the project progressing which it is and then you're seeing this job right here, you're seeing everything that's going on, which is exactly how it should be. Uh, if you see any of these on either of your machines, maybe you've got two machines, maybe you've got more. If any of these jobs say idle, uh, that means it's not being utilized. And actually, I ran into a scenario where where only one of my two computers would would process. It was even though I had this uh, this iMac in the cluster as well, only my MacBook Air was processing and I've got a fix for that as well so while this is uh, doing its magic here let's back out of uh, let's minimize compressor and let's go to the problem the workaround if you encountered a scenario where one of your computers was not uh, being utilized. And you may even get a message in there that says unable to uh, access, unable to make dir mkdir make directory slash users slash shared slash library. If you encounter that, the fix is very simple. So you'll go to Finder, you'll go to Go, go to Folder. Now if you're Command Prompt savvy, you could do this from Command Prompt as well, but uh, where we're going to want to go is Users, slash shared slash library slash application space support slash and then we'll just go to there now this computer as you can see it's got Apple QMaster directory and then inside of there it has storage directory the problem I ran into on my computer that remained idle which in my scenario was my iMac is that this folder did not exist so what I did I browsed to this path again this path was slash users slash shared slash library slash application space support and I created this folder manually after creating this folder manually what I did I went to properties you could right mouse click or you could control mouse click on your mouse if you don't have two buttons and go to get info and what you're going to want to look for is the uh, sharing and permissions you need to make sure that everyone has read and write for this Apple QMaster folder and it already does as you can see there if it didn't all you'd have to do is hit these up and down arrows and you would have the ability to select that and this is assuming that you're the administrator account for the uh, Mac your own and then also not only that folder but the storage folder if it doesn't exist create it and then confirm that the uh, that the permissions are in place for everyone to have read plus write and they are so as you can see this is working and we go back into uh, go back into my Q, uh, Apple Q administrator and you can see that it is successfully utilizing eight cores on my iMac and four cores on my MacBook Air where I'm filming this video so really uh, 
really frustrating process that I dealt with. Spent probably uh, eight hours troubleshooting. Thought my software was broken. I even even went as far as to think, hey, you know, maybe I need to perform a fresh install of uh, of OS 10. And I've never had to do that ever since I've owned a Mac. But yeah, this this application is great. It's definitely rough around the edges, and I have shared. Uh, my experience with Apple and encourage them to uh, first enable people to export their project to compressor choosing either send a compressor or export using compressor settings because a lot of people do that and when they go there and they're in compressor and they don't have the cluster as an option they assume their cluster is messed up so they need to make that more user friendly and then also uh, I mean, this export to media works because that's the only way to do it. But it ought to be, they, they ought to make it more user friendly. But I hope this video is of value. I encourage everyone to share this video with others. It'll hopefully uh, save you a lot of grief, especially if you do a lot of video editing, uh, which requires this rendering. And, and when you don't have all those clusters, it's a lot slower process. So uh, thanks for watching. Feel free to share. And if you have any questions or comments, let me know. Uh, maybe there's something that, uh, uh, that I can help out with or add or create another video for. Y'all have a good one.